11 women and one man, that's who will hear the evidence and vote guilty or not guilty for Tracy Hunter. The jury for the trial of the suspended juvenile court judge is now seated. Local 12 News reporter Jeff Hurst joins us with today's developments and what happens next. Jeff. Well, Rob, jury selection is usually kind of dry with lots of repetition as lawyers for both sides quiz potential jurors. But today there were a couple of twists before the jury was finally chosen. Tracy Hunter is charged with nine felonies, various counts of backdating court documents, misusing a county credit card, and interfering with a county employment issue regarding her brother. Before jury selection was finished, one member of the jury pool told Judge Norbert Nadel that he saw another potential juror hugging Judge Hunter yesterday after court was finished. Now, that's certainly not something you want in an unbiased jury. Nadel found the allegations hard to believe. You know, I've got to be honest with you. I, I was sitting here. I didn't see anything like that. I mean, we were all here. I, did, I didn't see anything like that. The member of the jury pool who allegedly hugged Judge Hunter denied it, saying she does not even know the judge. However, the prosecution later dismissed that potential juror. Each side is allowed to drop four jurors for no stated reason. The potential juror who made the allegations is not on the jury either. There are six alternates opening statements where each side lays out its case will be tomorrow, and then we will see what should be a very long parade of witnesses. Rob, back to you. Promises to be interesting. Jeff, thanks very much. There are two African-Americans on the jury, both women. This